a lot of our team was there apparently so we're we're very grateful to have everyone out there supporting them um, and a lot of people you know had some very strong opinions about who should win and who shouldn't and that always seems to be the case with this Fair Queen pageant in particular because it's such a long history um, I think it started around like 1956 having winners for this so uh, just always a really fun time to bring the community together for that really fun pageant absolutely and again, you know, great time uh, for both audience and I hope the contestants. Everybody was really friendly, so that was nice. Yes, and the girls did great. We're proud of them. Um, and other news as well locally, uh, we have some very interesting results from a survey put out by the Coleman Area Chamber of Commerce's Governmental Affairs Committee. They um, actually put out the survey on behalf of our uh, legislative representatives. So what the survey was asking was do you prefer to have a three or five member commission and surprisingly it's looking like they do support more of a five member commission for Coleman County Absolutely. Um, now whether or not they would like for them to serve part-time or full-time is still kind of up in the air uh, there was some um, mixed results there kind of almost scattered but they are in favor of a five member commission so um, as that bill gets uh, I guess kind of represented in February will go from there but it's kind of interesting to see how Coleman County feels and it seems they are in favor of a five-member commission well in light of circumstance of what has been going on mr. Uh, you know we, we've had a lot of a lot of issues with that recently and I think right. people are starting to see the need of having a, a larger team for this yes just now, in case something of this nature happens again with the question of part-time over full-time that is also where another issue brings up if you were involved in a full-time position with only part-time hours to such a position it makes things very difficult for the little time you do have in office right and I think a lot of people realize that you need that extra time for the various responsibilities that you would have to cover so it's gonna be very interesting to see in the next coming years mm -hmm. whether or not any of this comes to fruit uh, we're, we're really crossing our fingers on it as a community to see what happens I suppose uh, and and hope for the best <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Absolutely. Um, now, you know, continuing, guys, every day we talk to you about some of the great prizes that you can win here on the show that our sponsors have been nice enough to give us to give to you guys. So let's take a look at what some of those prizes are today. We have a day pass for six to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center and one large pizza from Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. So check the Facebook page, find out who that sponsor of the day is, and call us at 256-734-7399. That's 256-734-7399. Check that out, find out the sponsor of day once again, and tell us who that is, and you will win those great prizes from the various stores here in Coleman. Don't want to miss it. And we are really excited. We have an awesome guest today. Her name is Miss Nancy Moore, and you may be familiar with um, her very curious legacy, which includes the Hay People. So yes. if you have been in Coleman at all, you know who the Hay People are, and a lot of people love the Hay People and want to know everything about them. So, um, you know, Nancy has a huge legacy and tie to Oktoberfest and so we uh, will be talking with her and we're excited to hear her story. Absolutely, so stick around for that, don't go away and we'll be right back. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Life lived in black and white, is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse 
the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back, everybody, and we are here with Miss Nancy Moore. Thank you for joining Good us morning. today. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you. Well, we know that you are um, heavily affiliated with Oktoberfest, and we've talked to you beforehand, so we're excited to kind of reveal like your 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 history, your legacy, your involvement with Oktoberfest. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're affiliated? Sure. Um, I'm on the board, and I have been since 2009. Um, I started being involved in Oktoberfest in the, I'm going to say late 90s with my parents um, and started out uh, helping them with the hay people a little bit, helping at St. John's dinner, just started out with the, putting the whip topping on the apple cake. Um, and then I've gotten more involved since then. Very nice. Okay. Well, um, a lot of people are very excited about Oktoberfest and we know you're a busy bee in the community. so. Can you tell us a little bit about how um, how these hay people came to be? I have so many people that will come up to me at the chamber and say, how, how did they assemble these hay people? Where did they come from? How did they decorate them? And I have no answers for okay. them. Um, what started, first of all, the hay people is my parents were in Germany on a business trip, and my mom was involved in Oktoberfest. So she saw the hay people, brought the idea back to Coleman, and my uncle, Terry Clemens, had a sewing plant in Athens, Alabama. And so she contacted him and said, I need some clothes made and for some hay people. And he uh, said, sure, get me a pattern. So um, start out with three bales of hay. She, when she started doing it, she contacted farmers. And so you set two bales of hay up and then one going a different way. Um, the clothes are made and the hair in Athens. And then we put the clothes on the people, stuff the hair and paint the faces and there we go. Um, now, um, as most people know, my parents were killed in 2008. My husband and I took over the, the task of the hay people. And so, continue the tradition on. And I guess about every couple of years I have new clothes made. And this year, uh, for the, well, the hats, this is the first time in probably 10 years that I made new hats. So it's a, it's a community effort. You know, I have a lot of people that help me. Um, like I said, my uncle makes the clothes. I've got Ellen Fulmer paints the aprons, paints the faces. Um, and this year I had some great help with the hats and stuffing. Um, I had Linda Hankey, Fred Hankey help me. And then I had Carol Berry um, help me with some girls from w Restoring Women's Outreach. And that's the Halfway House in Coleman. And okay. If it hadn't been for the girls, I wouldn't have had new hats. So well, that's exciting. it's a lot of, you know, my husband, like I said, he puts the hay up, dresses the people, and, and my little boy Hunter helps too. Hello, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say hello to Hunter. He's 10. That's, He's a big help too. That's awesome. Now, how long does it take to actually assemble and finish the hay people? Well, um, from start to finish, I'm going to say, well, he sets the hay up one day and because he goes to the farm brings the hay in that takes several trips um, and then once that's done it takes a good hour to an hour and a half to put the clothes on and then ellen comes back paints the faces and there we go okay. now it takes a long time to stuff the hair yeah because the hair is like 17 yards wow and then i use right at a hundred pounds of stuffing yeah. something like that per per lady so, and we've got wow. three up this year. Three. Wow. So now, I've got one at St. John's Church. Okay. It's the first time I've had one at a church. Okay. And where's the other one? I've got one right here in the middle of right here uh -huh. by you, and then one at Depot Park. Okay. So you have three this three, year. Three, That's three, three couples of hay people. Yes. Oh. It's a tradition for Coleman. Okay. Yeah, well, I remember there being one at Depot Park. I did not remember one being there last year on 31 like that. Always. Okay. That's what? about the only one I can personally say since childhood I remember. Okay. Like, we put that year. one up right before the fair. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we last year there were only two. This two. year we've had we've got three. three. 
right. That is so exciting. Yeah, it's okay, really exciting. Very nice. Yeah. Plus, it really ties well into um, St. John's for their Oktoberfest dinner, which yes. we'll talk about in just one second, too. Right. Um, but I, we know that you also have another big thing that you do that's a big tradition for Coleman. Yes, ma'am. I bring the moms in. Mm -hmm. um, how that started also is that in the late 90s, um, my mom decided that she wanted Coleman decorated with moms. And so she went to Lowe's or Walmart, bought moms, and put them in front of some of the businesses. That was just, you know, a few that she started. Now I'm up to where I bring in 500 moms and pre-sale to different businesses and to friends, family, and sell them. So I brought in 500 yesterday at the Fest Hall, and I have right at 100 left. Wow. That's yeah. incredible, <laughs> definitely. That's um, now, what colors do you have available and how much are they? Okay, they're purple, red, yellow, a new color coral, burnt orange, and yellow white, and they're $10 each. Okay. And they're nice. the big moms. They're on my yeah. Facebook page and on Coleman Oktoberfest. Fest. Okay, yeah, and if people page. want to buy any today, when's a good time frame for them to get out there? I'll be there a little after 8. Okay. And then I'll be there till four. Um, well, somebody will be there till four. I'll right. be there till nine. Then I'm going to St. John's Church to cook, and then I'll be back this afternoon. Okay, very nice. I'm busy today. Busy day. <laughs> busy day. Well, um, St. John's dinner. Can you talk to us yes. about that? I know um, we've we've already had a guest on here as well speaking about St. John's dinner. So. It's a large event. Large it's event. very very large. Maria came on. Uh, so yes, our dinner is Monday night from five to seven. Uh, we have tickets available at Richter's or the church. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a wonderful meal. You can do takeout if you don't want to come in and eat. And we'll have the revelations and I think the potential yes. singing. So um, and we've been doing that. Well, Maria and, and my mom, I mean, Maria's been doing it for, I think we counted up 26 years. So I've moved up to where I get to help with the cabbage today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Do you all, so, yes. Do you all take volunteers? Sure, we're open for volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Maria has it down to a science. She has it down. Um, it's all on a schedule to work, and um, we have a great group of ladies and men from the church that help. Well, wonderful. Okay, and just to kind of um, revisit the, the details for the dinner, can you tell us the, the time, the place, and how much? Okay, St. John's dinner mm -hmm. at St. John's Church on Monday the 5th from 5 to 7, and the tickets are $10 each. Okay, wonderful. Well, um, we are just really excited about everything going on, aren't Absolutely. you? It was awesome to learn about all the history that you Thank had you. in shaping Oktoberfest, technically, because I mean, you've been in it for a while. I've been in it. I love Oktoberfest. I really do. Well, it's, it's apparent. I mean, you're even Yeah, I've got my dirndl on. <laughs> I'm ready. Dennis knows I love it. <laughs> we love it. Now, where did you get your outfit? This one I ordered offline. Okay. Uh, this is a bit trend. <laughs> where's, where's, where do you go online to order? It's one called Ernst Lit. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I know. It is. But I have like eight dirndls. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So, um, one for every occasion. One for every occasion. That's right. That's awesome. Okay. Well, we are so happy that thank you, you came on today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Now, um, just to kind of wrap up everything, if people want to hear any more information about maybe the Hey People Moms, St. John's Dinner, where can they contact you at? Um, I have a Facebook page, Nancy Clemens Moore. Um, and then if you need me, you can call the museum and they can get a hold of me. Okay, awesome. And the museum number is 256-739-1258. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you again for thank coming you. on today. Super excited to see all this come to light here. And, yes, uh, we're very much. Looking forward to seeing you out there. <laughs> you'll see me. I'll be there. <laughs> well, if you'll join us again in just a moment, we'll be right back. Don't. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat.
Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to MyColemanTV.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. So guys, no one has won our prize just yet, so I'm going to help you out as best I can. I'm going to give you a small hint that might push you in the right direction of winning those awesome prizes. So your hint for today is which one of our sponsors is your hometown bookstore just around the corner? Which one of our sponsors is your hometown bookstore just around the corner? Now if that doesn't go ahead and tell you exactly what you need to know, you can again check the Facebook page, find out who the sponsor of the day is, and give us a call again at 256-739-773. 9-9. Nine, 9-9, nine. Nine, nine. yeah, 734, 7399. There we go. 256-734. <laughs> That's okay. We've had a lot of numbers. <laughs> a, lot of, lot of, a lot of times. <laughs> um, now it's time for our Facebook friend of the day. So our Facebook friend of the day is going to be Miss Tiffany Hayes. And she likes Monograms Plus and Auburn. And we would like to give Tiffany a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Always great to be our friend on Facebook. Yeah, Look absolutely. at there. Always pays to be friends. <laughs> Keep that one in mind. All right, guys. Every day we talk to you about a various locale here in Coleman, places that may or may not be known to you. And today we're going to cover one that's a little close to where uh, we a lot of us went to school, and that's over there at Wallace State Community College, and that is the Evelyn Borough Museum. It's an interesting little area. Uh, it's not the world's largest museum, but I will state to you they've got some of the most interesting things that you can possibly see here in the area in terms of museum that doesn't deal directly with our local history. Uh, tons of exciting exhibits there. Definitely. Uh, you know, Donnie and Kristen and the rest of the team over there, they worked really hard to uh, bring in these really interesting exhibits. And, um, you know, if you've not been over there and, and actually had a tour given by Donnie, it's astonishing because these exhibits rotate out of Evelyn Burrow Museum. Mm -hmm. And he learns every tiny little fact about each thing and just gives like this flawless tour so it's always really really awesome to get to have a tour with him or any of the other tour guides because they take the time to learn all about the different um, facts with each exhibit and in addition to the museum itself they have that hallway that's usually lined with beautiful um, photographs paintings anything and they're always just really educational great opportunity to learn about local or regional art or even if you're lucky enough um, sometimes on a national scale you know uh, the Evelyn Burrow Museum did host that Smithsonian um, exhibit it was called the way we worked and that actually came out in February of 2015 this year so we um, had the opportunity to host that we were only one of six cities chosen to host that one particular exhibit Absolutely. and it was a lot of fun it um, really showcased early American life and how it pertained to our um, our region and then uh, you know Donnie and the people over there they all worked together with the team and found even more Coleman um, early Coleman history uh, things to exhibit so it was just a lot of fun yes I mean there's a ton of exhibits throughout the building that they try to highlight um, I remember the last time I had gone through the hallways there uh, of the arts building they had watercolor paintings and mm -hmm. some of those were already sold but they were continuing to allowing them to display them and some of these pieces were quite impressive and they went pretty pretty high up there in terms of like more than college tuition for me kind of high up there oh yeah yeah um and you know that's just the beauty of uh having that type of you know establishment that can house those types of fine arts um pieces that people that are able to uh, to come out and purchase those, have a place to do so. 
Absolutely. So if you've never been out to the Evelyn Burrow Museum, this is a great opportunity to go and learn about some very interesting and cultural pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, they had some awesome sculptures the last time I was in there, uh, some of which are mind-boggling and how they can even get them to stand in the position that they're in. <laughs> uh, and the fact that they were able to get them into that building is also quite impressive. Yes. So if you've, again, never been, this is a great opportunity. Uh, they do ask that you log your, your entry into the museum uh, for purposes. And they do ask some questions towards the end just to make sure that the experience was very uh, uh for not only presentable to you, but also enjoyable. Uh, so definitely check them out. Go out and support the local community. Again, this is a museum we're very lucky to have in Coleman. Definitely. Uh, and you know, I, I'm sure that they'd love to come see you, you know, learn a little bit. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Evelyn Burrow herself, she has a huge legacy with her love of horses. There are several different um, equine features within. And um, also, as we're kind of familiar with um, Evelyn Burrow, her legacy has a lot to do with uh, hope horses so um, just another tie-in from the museum to a local charity organization absolutely well guys it is now time to talk about my second favorite part of the show and that is the weather which is again brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet so make this switch to Mitch all right looks like the average high for the day is gonna be at 80 with the average low at 56 with the record high being in 1954 at 95 degrees record low being set in 1920 at 36 degrees with sunset tonight at 640 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow at 6.36 a.m. Now as you can tell the radar is saying that we are cleared up a little bit today as of yesterday we had some of those light showers coming through towards the evening but I think today we're going to be a lot clearer than we were with some chances of slight pop-ups throughout most of the day with the weather that we've had. Again we do stay at a zero percent chance of rain today with a high of 67 so again you know keep and dry but try to keep prepared if you can. Low of 55 tonight and then a high of 61 tomorrow again with a zero percent chance of rain. Now we are looking at, again, slight chances of rain here and there occasionally, but again, we're looking from the low 60s at the highs all the way up to a high 70 towards the end of the week. So be excited for that, that shift back into the warmer weather, but we're staying in the mid to lower 50s throughout the, for the cools at night. So, you know, again, keep warm at night, but you know, don't be, a, don't be afraid to take that jacket off or that hoodie off for daytime, you know, unless it's raining again, then I completely <laughs> recommend it. Uh, but you know, various weather, what do you do? We live in Alabama, it's one of those risks. Beautiful landscape in exchange for really weird weather. Yes, and you know, like you said, just maybe pack your umbrella, you never know, but uh, it hopefully won't be too bad. At this point, we should have all learned to just keep one in the car. Yes. It's just how we do it. <laughs> all righty, well, if you'll join us again in just a moment, we'll be back with our community billboard, so don't go away. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi. St. Paul's Lutheran School Oktoberfest meal will be Saturday, October 10th. That will be from 4 to 7 p.m. It'll be $10 for adults and $5 for the children's menu. 
Paul's for a Cause basketball clinic for boys and girls benefiting Lucas Hembury to help him get his diabetic service alert dog will be going on October 24th from 9 to 3. This is going to be at Coleman High School and the admission is $40 per student. Stories from the Past and Living History Cemetery Tours will be October 3rd and 4th from 6 to 8 p.m. You can meet at the Fest Hall. Visit one of Coleman's oldest cemeteries where locals bring to life the stories of early settlers. Admission fee supports the Coleman County Historical Society. And the Pine Heart Farm Living History Farm Day is coming up October 24th. Come and experience activities such as old time woodworking, horse and wagon rides, antique tractor shows, petting animals, sorghum sugar making, and more. For more information, call 256 734 0850. And the candlelight walking tours will be October 5th and 6th. These are guided tours through downtown Coleman. They begin at the Coleman County Museum and Fest Hall Market Plots. For more information, visit ColemanOctoberfest.com. And Sacred Hearts Oktoberfest German Dinner is coming up Wednesday, October 7th from 5 to 7 p.m. These are $12 for adults for tickets and $5 tickets for kids. And Evelyn Burrow Legacy presents Horse and Around for Hope. This will be Saturday, October 10th. There will be a trail ride for $20, which starts at 9 a.m., but this is a completely free event. 100% of proceeds goes to benefit Hope Horses. They will have different exhibits such as live music, mechanical bull, petting zoo, games, food, live auction, and bounce houses. Hey, Ms. Catherine Morgan invites you to come see her to find out how you can get insurance savings up to 40%. Again, she is with State Farm, so for more information, call 256-734-4640 or visit her at Facebook. And if you have a community billboard, give us a call and let us know. Uh, you can reach us online at mycolemantv.com or send us an email at mycolemantv at gmail.com or give us a call at 256-734-7399 and make sure you like us on Facebook at My Coleman Television. And again, we are sponsored by Pepsi. And wishing you a happy birthday today. We have... No one, and we have got to fix this. So everyone out there, get online, send us your birthday so we can definitely put you in for the drawing that we'll be doing tomorrow. Our weekly winner will receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen, so you don't want to miss out on that. And make sure you send us your anniversaries as well. We'll be doing that drawing tomorrow too, and that winner will receive a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. Well, guys, if you didn't already know, our sponsor of the day today was indeed Deb's Bookstore. They do have gift certificates available. They are your hometown bookstore just down the road, and I'm not kidding. It's a hop and a skip just from the station here in the center of town. So definitely go check out Miss Deb. She has tons of awesome recommendations. And, guys, I can't stress to you enough about the Facebook page. We opened up enough open-ended conversations for you that we expect to hear lots of awesome things from you. We all know that a lot of you are smarter than us, so let us know by telling us about it on Facebook. It's the only way we can find out. I'm serious. I don't don't mess with us in the Facebook thing. We really want to hear from you. We're like that long lost family member that just never hears from you and constantly sends you letters or care so, packages. Yeah, don't don't joke. Care packages will get people in trouble. <laughs> All right. So you know we had a great day. Um, again, we had an awesome guest today. Learned a lot about uh, Oktoberfest that I wasn't completely aware of. I did learn that a tractor can lift a hay bale very high. That is a thing. I already knew that. I knew that too, but I didn't expect. I always thought she was going to tell us that there was going to be some sort of pole through the top to keep it from rolling. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are very curious about the hay people, so now we know. We do indeed. Uh -huh. um, you know, and the moms. I was always wondering where those came from. Yeah. So now I know that it's the same lady. Yeah, and ten dollars. Geez, you can't beat that price. So definitely get out to the fest hall today. Um, I believe she said someone will be there until 4 o'clock, so go pick up your mums. You have, I think, six different color choices, so definitely a win-win. Um, Absolutely, and if you just wanted to meet her, she'll be the one in the red and white dress. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, you know, again, and we learned about the Evelyn Burroughs Center today. Uh, mm -hmm. For those of us who did not know, it's a great, it's a great museum to check out. It but, is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, stuff to do during the week. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, well we yeah. hope y'all have a terrific Thursday instead of a wonderful Wednesday, right? Yeah, exactly. We're going to start know. coming up with... Different, ones. Different yeah. slogans there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, well, again, I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, everyone here at My Coleman Television hopes you have a wonderful day. Thir terrific Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, terrific, have a terrific Thursday, Thursday. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.
Isso.